your pick a card reading guys today we're asking the question what are their thoughts when they hear your name once again we're asking the question what are their thoughts when they hear your name we will do an extended read on this we will take a deeper dive into the overview we will ask what do they say about you to others and we will also ask what are they working on towards this connection so keep in mind this is a general reading guys it may not resonate with everyone should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up, because YouTube be tripping, tripping, man. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor. Moonwalk your jive ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find all of that information in the description box below. As well, if you'd like to book a life coaching session with me, because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching, just did not put those initials or that title onto my name. If you're interested in that, you can find the information for that in the description box below. If you would like to donate to the channel in any shape, form, or fashion, you can find all of that information down below as well. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be alchemy. These are from the Syrian star seed tarot that was donated to the channel. Love these cards. Got to read up on some of them. First card, alchemy. Second card is going to be sage of flames. And... Third card is going to be Solar Deity. All right, on the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath, guys. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be Alchemy? Is it going to be Sage of Flames? Or is it going to be Solar Deity? All right, let's go ahead and get started because this card is so doggone big. We're just going to set it right there instead of putting it up. And universe, people who chose reading number one, what are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, universe? What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? Please keep these messages as simple as possible. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, universe? What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? Let me see if I can just, we can do it. We can make it happen. We don't make it. First card out, transformation. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, universe? What are their person's thoughts? We have the 10 of crystals. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, universe? Whoa. We have the Queen of Crystals. Okay. Whoa. Okay. And okay. And we have, <laughs> of course, of course we have the Empress, right? Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. What are their person's thoughts when they hear your name? When your person hears your name, your person, they, they go to two extremes. One, they are cosmically blissful. They are happy, elated. Um, they, they think about your nurturing aspect, how well-to-do you are, how well-off you are, whether you're studying or whether you are, you know, you have your feet planted firmly into your career. They just see you as a force to be reckoned with, someone who is kind, grounded, beautiful, someone who is um, has the, the Midas touch, has the ability to make things grow instantly. Um, they think about how gorgeous you are, how beautiful you are, how perfect you are um, for any person to be with, to be, um, they think of you as a um, perfect life partner but they think that 
you are so independent and you do so well on your own and you're so stable and you're so secure and you're so gorgeous that you have your pick of the litter and that's what causes them to panic. They they fi- they think that you have this mystic aspect about you that you have a tr- a very transformative energy about you where Things that come into contact with you, people that come into contact with you transform instantly because of your higher elevation. Um, They feel, mm, they think that you are a very transformative uh, being in their life. Um, You inspire them to grow. You, you inspire them to evolve. You make them nervous. If you can tell, like I'm usually just like, uh, 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 flowing. Right. But like, I'm really thinking about what I need to say. And it's very calculated. And it's, it's like, you know, I'm stumbling over my words and things. And that's what they think about. Um, when they hear your name, they, they dread, you know, whoever said your name, they dreading what's coming after that because they don't want to hear nothing like, oh, they with somebody else or such. I think they fine or I want to be with them or they don't want to hear that now. Um, But what they think about is just that something is coming through that makes me want to say that they know a side of you that no one else knows, that they they have a piece of you that no one else has ever had. And so there's a sacredness to their thoughts about you, to there's a reverence about you for them. And they're very protective, I think, when they hear your name. Um, they, they, I'm sure when we jump into the extended, what they say to others, I'm sure they don't say a lot to others because they just see you as so sacred something that a relationship a connection a situationship that should be uh protected right they see you again of knowing the the inner workings of the universe having your pick of the litter being able to do whatever it is that you want they they think that you are very ambitious and very driven And whatever you put your mind to, not only do you accomplish that task, but you excel at it. They they think of you as perfection. An alchemist in your own right. They think of you as a survivor. They think of you as an inspiration. They think of you as their motivation, especially during their dark times. They think of you as a light, a star. They think of you as having... Um, being mysterious, cosmically so, being very mysterious, that mystical side of you. They think of you as um, a tamer of beast, an, an evolver. Yeah, they're in awe of you because I'm at a loss for words, quite honestly. So yeah, so that's what they think of. Those are their thoughts when they hear your name. So we are going to do an extended read on this. We're going to get some more cards. This one is going to be good, I'm sure. Keep in mind, any extended, I can't promise nothing besides the fact that I'm going to pull a lot of cards. It can go willy-nilly really quick. So we are going to take a deeper dive into the overview. We're going to ask, what do they say about you to others? And we'll also ask, what are they working towards in this connection? So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on TikTok, I got a TikTok, y'all. If you want to follow me on TikTok, it's the Red Peel Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, it's the Red Peel Pusher, but there are two H's in the push. All right. So if you like to follow me there, do so. If not, because you know I'm lost too, you sure ain't got it. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. That person that knocked me all off my rocker. That old nervous face ass. Oh, yeah. So people who chose Sage of Flames. Universe, what are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, Universe. Please keep these messages as simple as possible. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What are their person's thoughts, universe, when they hear their name? 
What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What are their person's... Whoa, there we go. King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name, universe? What are their person's thoughts? What are, okay. Seven of Cups. And Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Queen of Swords. Whoo. This is my, you know you fucked up, right, pile? Your person's thoughts when they hear your name is that they you're you're like the one that got away for them. Um, your person's thoughts when they hear your name is that they cared about you deeply. Um, you guys may have met at a party or something, or maybe when you all hung out or were intimate, there was a lot of drinking. I feel like for somebody out there, there was a lot of drinking, not necessarily alcoholism, but just like partying and fun and drinking and being jovial and um things like that but i feel that this person thinks that you they ruined you in some way that they they took and took and took they were unable to remain committed to you um they think that uh that that fire within you that fire that you sparked within them um they they think that it was so overwhelming and now things have changed. They think that they have messed up with you. They think that they don't have another chance with you. They think that you are the one that got away. They think that they have to move on with their life without you. They think that um, they do want to talk to you, but they think when they think about talking to you, they get paralyzed in fear because they think that you are going to be very cold, that you are going to be completely opposite of the person that they know you as, that warm, loving, nurturing person. And they don't blame you because they, they think that they are at fault for creating or for you becoming the queen of swords. They think that, um, they think about you a lot. First of all, they think, I mean, well, we already fifth of all, right? They think about you quite a bit and they think about you being there with them being by their side helping them assisting them motivating them um your person is going through something right now where they they're sad about not being with you or not having you or hurting you in some kind of way but your person is sad about other things in life too and not having you there with them to to keep them from drowning they think that you saved them and, and they think that they ruined that by not showing up for you the way you were showing up for them. These are very easy. That's what they think. They think because they weren't able to commit to you, weren't able to give to you, weren't stable for you, that they ruined you. And they think that they turned you cold. Something may have happened between you all where there was a big breakdown there was this 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 pain that erupted from the truth being exposed and this person reflects upon that moment quite a bit and they um they are very ashamed and very hurt the pain that you feel is the same pain that they feel and they think that there's no way to get you. But they're terrified of approaching you because they're they're terrified that you will be you a queen of swords and you'll chop them. Chop! I ain't got time for this. Chop! <sighs> Look at this. The star underneath that. Yeah. They think that you're better off without them because they think that when they hear your name, they think that I I created ruin around this beautiful gift and they just think it's that they don't have a chance this person has hope though something insane, and i think you do too and i i'm not saying that you're without pain i think that both of you all at this point are devastated ruined then the word at the top of the ten of swords is ruined 
I think the, the connection, something was ruined. It died in this connection. But you guys are, there's something so magnetic about this connection because it's so crazy. I've never seen this card like this. Man, I have a great imagination. But what I'm seeing is a ghost of you over here and you all spinning these and moving together. But there being no movement because they're just in their imagination, in the clouds, wishing you were there to help them, to push them. And you're not. But you are in the clouds. So you guys are in the same place thinking about each other. And if I put this card up here, you guys are, are like facing each other. And so I, I feel this person can't stop thinking about you but thinks about the pain that they caused. And I'm curious to see what's gonna come out in this, in this extended, I really am. So we're gonna do an extended read on this. I can't promise anything. This could go, this could stay left because it's pretty left right now. I could stay left or it could go right. And that's what I'm feeling, but I can't promise it because the cards have their own minds, right? So we're gonna take a deeper dive into the overview. We're gonna ask, what do they say about you to others? And we're also gonna ask, what are they working on towards in this connection? So if you want to follow me in the extended, the link for that is down below. If you want to follow me on TikTok, because I got a TikTok now, y'all. The name is The Red Pill Pusher. And on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, it's The Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. But if you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know I'm lost too, you show sure ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, moving on to Solar Daddy. These are quick today, very to the point. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at you. Why am I singing it? Why am I singing Tupac? Okay, universe, people who chose Solar Deity. What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What are their person's thoughts when they hear their name? What do they think when they hear their name, universe? What does a person think about when they hear their name? First card, Nine of Wands. Next card is the Hierophant. Whoa. Seven of Wands. And Judgment. Hmm, this one is interesting. Star card at the bottom of the deck. What does your person think about? When they think of you. Okay. Uh, when your person thinks about you, and this this can go either way. And I'm just, I'm going to say this and I'm going to let it go. Because this can go either way. This can be for people who have separated with their person. This can also be for people who have um, had some stagnation in the connection. The connection is just not moving. It's just like you guys are stuck somewhere. And so... When your person hears your name, what they think about, the awareness that comes over them is that they are afraid of the unknown. They are afraid of taking things to the next step, to the next level. They are afraid of elevating this connection. However, putting a label on it, getting married, moving in together, whatever it is, being more serious. This person is a commitment phobe. And so, and this person can make up excuse after excuse after excuse as to why they can't take it to the next level yet. You know, and they make it so they package it up real nice. And so what they think about is they think they they are very much aware of this. They are very much aware of the fact that they are commitment phobe and that there's stagnation here and that um, there's no movement here and that their their fears are getting the best of them. Whatever fear they have in love, whatever fear they have towards commitment, it's gotten the best of them. And so they think they think about what they need to do in order to shift with you. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Period. They think about I got to face my demons. I got to I got to get real with myself. I, you know, this person is is quite honestly 
hoping, wishing, manifesting, praying that you don't leave them. This person is, or, or if you have left them, that you'll return. This person is really, really afraid of losing you forever. Meaning you moved on. In whatever capacity, whether y'all are together or not, that you'll move on and they won't have any more chances with you. Something about time running out, but they they think, they know that they have to do this nine of wands. They got to face their demons. They got to go into this darkness, into why they're afraid of the unknown. They have to, they got to heal. They got to heal. And that's what they think about. And they think that if they don't do this, they, they this is they think that they have a choice from the universe. And the universe is like, yo, 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 check the flow, homeboy or homegirl. Cause look, we ain't finna do this no more. Kinda in my Diddy voice. I feel like the universe today sounds like Diddy. And it's like, take that, take that, take that. Listen, listen, playboy or playgirl, whatever. You got two choices right now because ain't nobody finna keep playing with you, playboy. You hear me? Take that, take that, right? You can either A, go here, go in this darkness, look inside yourself, figure all your shit out because people are sick of you. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired now. Playboy, take that, take that. Or and you, you could do this. You can do this, you know, go within, do the introspection. You can, you can get your shit together, face your demons, move beyond yourself because you're self-sabotaging and you're too good with it right now. You become complacent with stagnation and then you blame everybody else for as to why your life hadn't moved. You can do that and you can stay with this person that you with or you can return to them or playboy or playgirl take that take that take that you could keep on defending your actions keep on doing dumb shit keep on self-sabotaging keep on keeping on and uh shawty right here in a judgment card ain't gonna be no chance the judgment that's gonna be called on you then you lost what's it gonna be What's it going to be? What you going to do? What you going to choose? You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. You got to know what you want to do. Oh, no, you don't get no time to think about it. It's got to be done now. We didn't give you all the time in the world. And all you're doing is hurting people around you. So what's it going to be? So this person... It's, it's D-Day, it's Judgment Day. This person got to make a decision. And that's what they think about. <laughs> These extendeds, one way or another, is going to be fire. Every last one of them. So we are going to do an extended read on this. Can't promise you nothing, but I'm going to pull some cards. That's it. It can go willy-nilly very quickly. Um, we're going to ask the question, what do they say about you to others? And we're also going to ask, what are they working towards in this connection? So if you like to follow me over to the extended, the link is down below. If you want to follow me on TikTok, because I got a TikTok now, y'all. The name is The Red Pill Pusher. My Facebook group is called The Brave Heart Experience. And on Instagram, I am The Red Pill Pusher with two H's because a hacker took my other name. So anyway. If you want to follow me in any of those places, you can find all the information down below. If you don't want to follow me nowhere, because you know I'm lost too, just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.